So if you're looking to create some content whilst you're on lockdown, then it's really, really important that you think about the lighting. Never underestimate the power of good lighting. Whether you're a photographer, a videographer, a cake maker, a makeup artist, a hairstylist, a dress shop, everybody in the wedding industry appreciates good light. And that's why today I want to show you which lighting setup I use to get this kind of look for my YouTube videos, my interviews, my influencer shoots, and pretty much every video that I shoot where the ambient lighting is terrible. No matter what camera you're using, whether that be a DSLR camera, your iPad, or your phone, good lighting is gonna make the world of difference to the end result of your video. Let's face it, we can all appreciate some flattering light. Especially when you get to 30, you need all the help you can get. So this is my recommendation on getting flattering studio lighting that's gonna be perfect for your photos and videos and it's perfect for creating content for Instagram or YouTube. So what I'm gonna show you is the lighting setup that I've got in this room right now. So these lights are the Godox SL60W. So I've got two of those. And then mounted onto the basic light stand by Niwa, I've got the Niwa Octobox. And this is basically a big octagonal diffuser. It, folds down for easy storage as well, so you can take it with you. I generally tend to just bundle everything up in a suitcase. So this is what it looks like without any added light. So this is just with the light coming straight in through the window. And if I turn the lights on, you'll see that all of a sudden, the light is much more flattering and even. So it's a way of controlling that light. I would always recommend to shut any blinds, turn off any overhead lights that you've got and just stick with using those two lights. I definitely am no expert whatsoever when it comes to lighting properly. I'm literally just looking on Amazon with a smallish budget and just trying things and seeing what looks best. This set of lights that I'm using, actually, you if you really only need one, um, and you want to get the light and the diffuser, that is gonna cost you way under 200 pounds. So in the grand scheme of things, it's not that expensive, but it can completely change the whole look of your setup. If you're a makeup artist or a beauty blogger or a hairstylist, you've probably got a ring light in your bag. To me, I don't think that ring lights give the most flattering look. So when I turn up at a wedding and the makeup artist is using a ring light, I'm like, oh no, could we maybe move the bride or the bridesmaid to a source of natural light such as a window? And the reason why I tend to prefer natural light over a ring light is just because the window and the clouds are actually diffusing that light across the face. So you're gonna get a much more natural looking result. They're not really something that I would recommend for weddings. They are quite bulky and I do worry maybe if the guests have had a little bit too much to drink that they're gonna knock them over and they take a little while to set up as well. So generally at weddings, I tend to just use the ambient light that's available. It means I don't have to set anything up as well. So you can be quick on your feet and not have to worry about folding stuff down, making sure people don't trip over the wires and that sort of thing. So for controlled environments and studio shoots, they're perfect. They also come with this handy little remote as well, so you can actually dim them using this control and also turn them off and on again as well, just like that. Uh, you can actually pair both sets of lights or more than one set of light to the same remote control if you want to. You just change the channel on the back of the lights so that they're all on the same channel and then you can just flick them on and off again. If your budget won't stretch to a studio light right now, then what I would recommend is if you are looking to record some Instagram stories or some videos for your Instagram, sit by a window the biggest window that you've got, and you could even hang a sheet over the window just to soften and diffuse that light on your face. And I think you'll find that it looks a lot more flattering. So if you have any questions about any of the equipment that I've used in this video to get this kind of studio look, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe by pressing up here. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.